Today's lesson is going to be on measures of a circle. This will be a pretty quick lesson because mostly we're going to be dealing with definitions today. So you see I've drawn three circles here. They are all the same size. And I've got three terms to teach you today about circles. So you remember earlier we spoke about the perimeter of something. We looked at the perimeter of a rectangle, a triangle, and a square. And perimeter meant what? Ah, it meant going, measuring the distance around the outside of the object. Well, we have a special term for that when we measure the distance around the outside of a circle. And that term is called circumference. Circumference. Let's say I want to go all the way and measure this circle. We would call this circumference. Special name just for a circle's perimeter. Now, you'll notice my second circle, I have a, a dot in the middle. I'm gonna get a colorful marker here. And if we were to measure, this is the center of my circle. So if I was to measure the center to the outside of a circle. So let's see, where did my, hold on one second, I gotta get my, my ruler. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, so let's say I wanted to measure, take my ruler and measure, uh-huh, there we go. It's hard to speak with a marker in your mouth. But I wanted to measure from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle. Well, what's that called? That's got a special name as well. We call that the radius, radius. Okay, I've got another term for you. Rather than just going from the center, let's say we wanted to cut this circle completely in half. We wanted to go from one end of the circle, one edge, completely to the other side. So let me draw that for you. Right through my center. Oops. We call that the diameter. Diameter. So radius, you might notice, is half of the diameter, because it's only halfway across. Diameter is the full way across. In case you need a quick Nicolism to remember which one's radius, which one's diameter, just remember, radius is the smaller one, and radius is the smaller word out of the two. Diameter's longer, diameter's a longer word. Easy Nicolism to remember the two. So let's take a look at uh, the actual measurements of this, just to prove that it really is, radius is half of the amount of the diameter. So I'm going to use my little ruler here. If I were to measure this radius, it would be two and a half inches. Okay. Now let me go measure the diameter. By the way, in case you're wondering how I drew these circles, I had this handy circle here so they are equal, because you all know I can't draw circles very well. So let's measure the diameter. And it is five inches. I made inches in, there we go. So as you can see, your radius is always going to be half your diameter, or you could say your diameter is gonna be twice your radius. So that means if I had a radius of four, what's my diameter? Eight. If I had a radius of 12, What's my diameter? 24. You're getting the pattern. Each and every time, your radius is going to be half of your diameter. I'd like to show you one more thing regarding uh, circles and the measures of a circle. So we talked about radius and diameter. So I want you to see that I have a, must my dartboard from in my garage, but I have a dartboard here. And do you see any circles on this dartboard? I hope you see, oh gosh, there's tons of circles. One there, one there, the smaller one here, a bigger one there. One th I mean, there's like tons of circles. So let's take a look and see if this whole radius diameter thing holds up. So I'm gonna measure the, let's do this circle right here, this circle here. I'm going to measure that and it is Okay, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my life easy. Let's measure the bigger circle because it comes more, you know, good with my ruler. So it looks like to be four and a half inches. 
the radius of this bigger circle right here on the outside. So four and a half for radius, that means if I go all the way across the diameter, it should be nine inches. Let's check. So we're gonna go all the way across, and as you can see, it checks out, it is nine inches. So all of these circles have the same center point right here in the middle. I should have gotten one of my dart to put it right there in the middle. The same center point. And if you have circles with the same center point, but different radiuses and diameters, they are called concentric circles. They're essentially circles that can fit inside of each other, okay? Oh, I have another example I wanted to show you. Hold on one second. Ah, so this is my uh, measuring cups for my kitchen. And, you know, one of these is a quarter cup, one-fourth of a cup, one is a third of a cup, this one is a half of a cup, and this one is a cup. And these are also concentric circles because you can see they fit right down inside of each other with different radiuses and diameters. That's it, you've learned today some pretty quick things about the measures of a circle. Hope you got that. You did a great job, I will see you later. Take care, bye.